and the house was quiet. It was PhD statistics we were dealing with. Professor Msongole, we are so grateful you have been here. We've learned a lot. One thing is we need to use statistics to own processes, and I'm sure we'll definitely do that. Ladies and gentlemen, a second round of applause for Professor Msongole for that presentation. Now, Professor, you've talked about personal development, and our next presentation is just that. But before we go to that presentation, I must mention that we have the first Zambian to hold a PhD in supply chain management in this house. Dr. Geoffrey Mwenshi, where are you? There he is. A round of applause for him. He is the first Zambian with a PhD. Professor, we have a PhD holder in supply chain. <laughs> okay, so we, we are streaming live, and our friends who are in the Maquis are saying, we are calling them the people, Abadi Kuwaya. The people Kuwaya, we love you, and soon we'll be able to say hi to you, because everything is being put in place for us to interact. And as such, we request that the question and answer session be reserved after three presentations are made, such that the people Kuwaya can put up their questions on our WhatsApp groups and the Telegram, and then those questions will, present, will be presented to our speakers at a given time. So for now, we can move to the next presentation. This is Personal Development, Key to Enhance Productivity. Our presenter is coming from the Zambia Institute of Human Resource Management. Now, listen to it. He is the registrar for Zambia Institute of Human Resource Management. He holds a Master of Law degree, a Master of Business Administration, a Bachelor of Art degree, a Bachelor of Law, a Postgraduate Diploma in Human Resource, a Postgraduate Diploma in Teaching Methodology. He is currently pursuing his PhD as he awaits his graduation for his Master's in Human Resource Management. Ladies and gentlemen, is he not in the best place to teach us about personal development? Please, allow me to welcome Mr. Sikatumba Owen Chilala to give us a presentation on personal development, a key to enhance development or productivity. Can we have our IT guys that come to assist us here, please? Richard, can we have you in the house? Maybe someone is jealous of Mr. Chilada's qualification. I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. Thank you. 
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. What is the matter? They must be eaten for sure. Ladies and gentlemen, before I speak, put your hands together for me. Thank you so much. Now, do you know why you are clapping? Even if I spoke nonsense, you have already clapped for me. So I'm safe. If I were at a kitchen party, I would say, Azimai Ntunguru. Tunguru. <laughs> but we are here professionally. Thank you so much. Before we talk about our topic today, I want to emphasize what the president informed you about, the MOU. I want to confirm, as the chief executive officer for Zambia Institute of Human Resource Management, that we have signed an MOU with yourselves. And this MOU is critical, very important, in that I think you know that it's not all of you who may be scandalized. And we have suspicion that maybe those that do wrong are masqueraders. They are not even professional, proper in your profession. And so, to curb that, we need to monitor the employment part of your profession. So that at employment, since we are superintending the employment part, you must be present on the panels to ensure that the right people are employed for this noble profession. We also, in line with personal development, want to ensure that together we do train continuously in what we call CPD, Continuous Professional Development for your profession together with your institute in this MOU. So it is a very good thing. Let us follow it up and ensure that we do the right thing. In today's presentation, this is the outline. We will have an introduction. We will have what I call, and wherever I've spoken, personal influence on the audience. It is my job to baptize you into a certain philosophy before I sit down. If it were possible, I would take you to the pool and dip you for baptism. But we are here now. Personal development, we will not take it for granted that we, we know it. We will try to explain what it is. Productivity also. And then we will move to look at the seven essential pillars of personal development. And that's where I will emphasize then the effect of this personal development to productivity. And then we will be concluding. The, one of the philosophers said these very critical words I share with you today. Mediocrity or excellence is born from the mind. This is very true and correct. I want you to meditate upon these words. Plato added by saying, even God, before saying, let there be trees, he had it in mind how trees will look like. And so when he says, let there be trees, he knows that there will be baobab tree, there will be sycamore tree, and everything. So everything is born from the mind. Even you where you are seated, whatever you want to become, let it not be accidental. Let it be born from the mind. And then you'll get it right. So in this discussion, I think the outline has spoken of what we want to look at. The baptism part. Truly, you must be baptized. Today, I want to introduce you to a philosophy which I have adopted from the Latin. It is called... Cura et stedia et mortis. 
Cura et Stadium et Mortis. In English, translated, practice the art of dying. Those that go to church, we don't want you to die. Those that go to church, they use the phrase, so teach me how to number my days, Lord, that I may apply wisdom. Now, the principle we borrow from here is that when man knows that he is of a few days, there are certain things that he must do. And these automatically happen. He develops a sense of responsibility. He does develop a sense of priority. He does develop a sense of accountability. And this hinges on personal development. Ladies and gentlemen, you are not here forever. And so whatever you are doing, do it nicely knowing that you have few days to live and you cannot do things as though you own time to yourself. Isn't it a good philosophy? I baptize you to cura a tea mortis, a tea stadia, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. We move not taking it for granted that we do understand what personal development is. I borrow the words of Brian Tracy. He emphasizes something about personal development. He says personal development is a process. Now this process of personal growth is a conscious process. I, I, don't worry about the slides, you have them, but I want to explain what I know is critical about this one. Conscious and also being continuous improvement of oneself. So where you are seated here, if the nation or organization must benefit from your services or from you, you must develop certain habits, you must develop certain issues consciously. It is not accidental. Don't await development to happen accidentally. It will not. Even if your grandfather was a great witch, it will not. It is a conscious decision that we must make. Now, this pursuit of personal growth is meant to enhance the quality of your life. And when your quality of life is enhanced, you will enhance your service to humanity and the community. And this is where the productivity part taps in. Because you are a better person, you will do better things. And because of your better dealings, the society will benefit. Now, I must mention that this whole process requires dedication of time effort and patience let me emphasize on patience certain habits die hard but you shouldn't give up be patient they say give time some time so that you become better we orient you today to this process of one self improvement now we move to productivity so that we link these two uh, concept what you are seeing there the first part is just a basic very basic explanation of what productivity is output up there input down there I've given examples of output there and input in terms of products and services that you offer as an output what will be your input the labor there material equipment, money, and time. There are several others down. We're just giving examples. Now, what is critical in this is that input, if you are to be relevant, input must be lesser than output. In business terms, when input is lesser than output, you will have what is known as surplus. And that is our interest. Now, moving away from that, or maybe to re-emphasize, 
if you are doing business you put in 10,000 and you reap 5,000 and you are happy about that there is something seriously wrong with you so that's why we emphasize input must be lesser than output so that you are a sensible human being and relevant to the economy and the society at large now there are other people who have gone further adopting from the kaizen philosophy interpreting this productivity the measure of how we use resources now i pick the second one the effective and efficient utilization of all resources now this is where i want to hinge to show how important you are and why you should and must person develop to be very relevant to our economy effectiveness has to do with doing good i want to pick efficiency on the part of the rate or the speed at which things are done an example if you do one of the two neglecting the other what would happen you are doing a procurement document effective you do it very good and very well excellent and then on time you are not mindful you take the document when they have closed the bid to box of what good is that document nothing let's go on the other side you speed up the process and do a document mediocrely even if it is in the bid box of what good zero it won't compete a good document effective done in the good space prescribed and finds itself in the tender box efficient put them together you win the tender isn't it the combination of these two will make you a better specialist and this is what we're talking about today having understood this i want us to look at certain pillars which will make you a better person in what we are looking for because we understand the productivity part is a result of what you are so our emphasis today is on what you should be to be more productive the seven pillars the first one is personal analysis this is with an understanding that ladies and gentlemen naturally you must have a position on where you are currently standing and this is what will propel you whether to put more effort or not so to examine your strengths and weaknesses in order to work on yourself you need to do three things the first one is what we call the backward look called retrospection looking back looking back is with a view to appreciate where you are coming from what has brought you where you are now others you may have started with a certificate you appreciate that a diploma in procurement you appreciate that but when you are looking back you are asking yourself should i be here should i end here then it will move you to the next step called the look within that is introspection every human being must self-search what is weighing me down you look through are there the habits as we're talking you can be a very good procurement specialist maybe what weighs you down is beer when you get paid you disappear for one week or two weeks of what good you may even lose the job even if you have those brains so you self introspect if you want to become a better person and so i want to urge you do introspection uh, ladies and gentlemen the next one is the futuristic look the forward look called prospection prospection paints the picture of where you should be why are we interested in you painting the picture of where you should be when the picture has been painted you work in reverse to develop strategies which will get you to the desired future so if you want your phd in procurement that is your desired picture 
So you begin to work strategies. Is it Unilas I'm going with? Is it Unza? Is it? Those are strategies to achieve what has been painted. Ladies and gentlemen, the second one is personal skill. Personal skill entails that you become an expert. I want to believe it is not our grandfathers who forced us that since there is no job going to procure me. It's your personal choice. Now, when you choose a field, you cannot choose to be ignorant in your own field. Personal development entails that you amass the skill that is necessary in your specialist, in your uh, profession. So you need to get the basics, the concepts, and the real thing you master. When we come to consult to you, it is on a basis that you understand the topic. You understand the profession. Otherwise, why would we consult an ignorant person? We wouldn't. So if you are to be relevant, skill. I like what one professor said. Even empires are built from the basics. That's what you should do. Get the basics. Develop them into concepts. Get the real thing. And when we come to you, you'll be giving us value. We say, okay, in procurement, in the supply chain, this is an authority. That's personal development. The third one is personal growth. We want a better version of you. What you wear yesterday may not be relevant today. So on personal development, you keep on growing yourself. And how do you do that? You need to do certain things, as Mullah says, to be learning or growing. It is the proper trait of manhood. If you want to be called now, when you use this term manhood, we, we're talking about both genders. Uh, I'm sure we are speaking from the Bible where when we say man, it's, it's everyone. So don't feel selected as ladies. Thank you. The next one is personal power. Personal power deals with how you are connected. It is more like a fridge. You put your perishables there. If you don't connect it to power, it is hopeless. You will find your things rotten. Now, how do you do in personal development? You get connected to real people who help you in your person as a person, in your profession as a specialist. One of which is getting connected to your mother body because they will have maybe latest information on how you should do certain things. The way we are sharing here, it is connection which is making you better as a human being. So don't neglect workshops, conventions like these ones. Ladies and gentlemen, self or personal improvement. As you work, endeavor always to have attitudes that will make you better person every day in tomorrow. Personal empowerment is where I want to dwell much. This has to do with continuously looking at ways. Now, I underline this because the current government, the new dawn, is emphatic on this point. When you are looking for creative ways of doing things, you will do them faster. Time is of incense. You will do them nicely, cheaply or affordable. Now, this combination is a good one. Now, this has to do with a person, you. If you are not a better version of yourself, you can't do this. Because when people are working, you will be sleeping. You lose on time. You can't do things faster. When people are doing this, you will be outside. So, under personal development, be creative. Find ways of doing things better, faster, cheaper so that the economy is helped. Ladies and gentlemen, the last one is on objectives. This one links from where we started from. You need to set objectives as a person if you were to grow. Now, both professionally and as an individual, if you want to lose weight, for instance, that is an objective. 
Once it is set in a smarter way, then you begin to work on it. So, I want you to set proper personal objectives. And as you do so, because the productivity part is a result of your better you, when you are setting proper objectives, the organizations, the establishments will benefit. The economy will benefit. Let us link personal development as it affects productivity. Number one, if you are not organized, now we are dealing with you as a profession, you as a person, how can you organize? You, you are disorganized. Can't keep your own hair. You want to keep whose organization? Now, that's the effect. When you are personally developed, then you will develop an organization. It's clear, no beating about the bush. How can you give what you don't have? We are talking about skill, personal skill in development. If you are not skilled yourself, how do you advise us? To start with, you don't understand the Procurement Act, the Finance Act. How do you advise us? So if you are to advise us, develop yourself, know these things, and then you will be of service to us. This is the linkage with productivity. Your better version. We have already said if you, you are a mediocre person, you are not your better self, you have nothing to offer. Uh, they will say, there is nothing you can offer to us. If productivity is about prudence, then personal development is key. It will make you do things better, faster, and cheaper. That is the link we can't overemphasize, uh, brothers and sisters. In conclusion, I want to say, this personal development, it is not only important to the supply chain, it is to every human being who has good intentions for our economy, for our society, and for our generations. If you are such a person, then you personal develop so that you are relevant to yourself, to the country, to the organization you are working with. Ladies and gentlemen, I go back. Cura et stadia et mortis. Practice the art of dying. Thank you. Tunguru, Azimai, Tunguru. Wonderful. What a nice presentation we've had. Now, as we go to the next presentation, as we prepare for the next presentation, I will just do one thing. Can I have one element for personal development? They are still digesting. Anyone ready to give us one element for personal development from the presentation? Okay, let's go to the next presentation. We have questions? We'll proceed to the, to the next.